What's up guys, welcome back to another workout. Just finished that one up, drench and sweat. Heart rate is up, really good finisher. You can certainly use this as a standalone leg workout as well. If you're pressed for time, but this is designed to be a leg day finisher. This is a sample finisher for my 12 week program, functional mass and power. Link in the description of this video to get signed up and to start training today. So we have a 10 minute EMOM, which means we're gonna perform the prescribed reps on time of each exercise on the minute every minute. So minute number one, we have burpee deadlifts to back lunges, resting the remainder of the minute. Then minute number two starts, we hold a wall sit, rest the remainder of the minute, and we go back to the burpee deadlift lunge combo, and then back to the wall sit. So we're gonna go back and forth, alternating for the full 10 minutes. Make sure you guys are going as heavy as you possibly can while maintaining excellent technique throughout to get the most out of this one. Now, without further ado, let's get ready to put in some work. Let's go. All right guys, so remember, we have 10 total minutes. Minute number one, five burpee deadlifts, five back lunges, rest the remainder of the minute. Minute number two, wall sit for 40 seconds. And then we're gonna go back to the burpee deadlift lunge combo. So we're gonna go back and forth between these two sets for 10 total minutes. Let's go. So kick out, strong push up. Jump the feet in, set the lats, stand tall, back down for your next rep. Two. Make sure you set the back on every single rep. That's four. Five, right into the back lunges. So driving that knee all the way down to the floor, lightly touching the back knee to the floor to ensure full range of motion on every single rep. Keep the chest nice and tall. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Rest them down. Where are we at? So that's our time to rest before we get into the wall sit. So we want to finish as quickly as possible while maintaining excellent technique. So let's get ready. Lowering down, right about 90 degrees. Press your back actively into the ground, into the ground, into the wall, and actively flex and contract your quads to make it even harder and more brutal. So press the lower back into the wall, squeeze your quads, keep that back against the wall, chest up. So we're going 40 seconds here. It may not feel that tough right now, but it's gonna keep getting tougher. Again, actively squeezing those quads, flexing the quads to get the most out of the wall sit. Let's keep it going, come on. Lock it in. Ten, oh, that's it. Almost made us do 10 more seconds. All right, 20 seconds rest. Then we go back to that burpee deadlift lunge combo. Make sure you're going as heavy as you can while maintaining excellent technique with these as well. So let's get ready. Five burpee deadlifts. Let's go. Set the back. Two. Three. Four. Five. Right into those back lunges. So big step back. Make sure you're driving the knee out as well. So we don't want our knees caving in. Drive the knee out. Eight. Don't just slam down either. Nice controlled reps. Nine, ten. So five each leg. And we rest. Get back into that wall sit. Heart rate is already up. Let's go. Press the back into the wall. Right about 90 degrees. Flex those quads. Let's go. So this is designed as a finisher. So this is a finisher out of my 12 week program, Functional Mass and Power. So you can use this and it's most effective at the end of a leg workout. However, if you want to use this as a standalone workout, if you're pressed for time, you can obviously do that as well. Five seconds. 
and rest. 20 seconds rest. Quads are starting to feel it now. 10 seconds, back to our burpee deadlift lunge combo. If you need to change your weights as well, feel free to do so to get the most out of the workout. Let's get it. Strong push up, set the lats, making sure that your chest and hips rise at the same time. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Four, five, back lunges. Nice controlled reps. Three, four, five. Follow along with me, come on. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. You wanna try and keep the same pace the entire time as well. Just try and keep that same tempo. Every single set. Let's go. 90 degrees. Lock it in. Now, it's gonna really start hurting. Your mind is gonna wanna tell you to stop. Or for most of us at least. You can generally always go further than what our mind tells us we can. So always keep that in mind, obviously within reason, but really fight to that burn, just keep breathing. You can definitely hold the, the entire 40 seconds. Let's go. Two, one, the rest. Ooh. All right, we're almost there. Almost there. 10 seconds, we got two more full rounds. Let's work. Perfect technique on every single rep, come on. Seven, nine, ten. Good. Keep that pace. Come on. Almost done. Almost done. Let's go. Let's go. Ninety degrees. Flex the quads. Hold, chest up. If you wanna make it even more challenging, I mean, it's a little more challenging physiologically, but also mentally too. It's just having the arms up like a prisoner wall sit. It just makes it a little bit more challenging because a lot of us are gonna to wanna to put our hands on our legs. So either way, make sure you keep your hands off your legs. It's like a mental crutch and let's go. Let's work. Five, four, three, two, one. Ugh. One more round, one more full round, and we're done. Again, this is meant to be as a finisher, so man, throw this in at the end of a workout, get a taste of what my 12, what 12 week program has to offer. Let's go, five reps. Perfect technique. Four, five, back lunges. One, controlled descent. Two, don't start to rush it now that you're fatigued. Perfect reps. Your last set should look just like your first set. I lost count. 
I'll do an extra on each leg. Yeah. All right, one more wall sit. Let's go. Let's go to final or the full minute, the final set. Let's go. Finish strong. All right, we're going 60 seconds. Final set to finish off those legs. Let's go, full minute. Flex the quads, pin the back into the wall. 40 seconds, come on. Last thing we're doing today, let's go. Thirty. Fight through the shake. The legs are shaking. Keep going. Come on. Twenty seconds. Ah. We're almost there. We're almost there. Come on. Final ten. Come on. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, done. Oh yeah. Woo! Nice and done guys. Hope you guys followed along. Stayed right on pace with me. If you didn't, something to strive for in the future. There's more progress to be made. It doesn't matter where you're starting off. Even if you went really light, it just shows there's more room for growth and improvement. So come back to this workout slash finisher and keep trying to improve, keep trying to gradually increase that weight and increase the intensity. If you guys like this workout, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel for more workouts like this one. Leave a comment. And until the next workout, talk to you guys soon. <sighs>